Hello friends, do you know what is laser assisted hatching and blastocyst culture? Myself, Dr. Priyanka Shamani, consultant gynecologist and IVF specialist working with Indira IVF Nagpur. So today we will be discussing about two important processes, laser assisted hatching and blastocyst culture. Many patients who are undergoing IVF process, they generally ask us what they can do for successful IVF cycles. So success of an IVF cycle depends on many things, but two processes which help in the IVF success or implantation success is the blastocyst culture and laser assisted hatching. So in IVF cycles, first let us understand how a blastocyst is formed and how do we perform laser assisted hatching. So whenever we are uh, doing the ovum pickup or whenever the eggs are stimulated and after that we carry out the ovum pickup process or the egg retrieval process, the embryos are generally fertilized in the IVF lab by the IVF or ICSI method. After the fertilization is carried out, after 16 to 18 hours of fertilization, the embryologist generally checks how the embryos are formed or how are they fertilized. So your day zero is your fertilization day or over pickup day. The day one is your pronuclear stage. The day two is your two cell or four cell stage. So day three is your eight cell stage embryo. Day four is your modular stage embryo. Whenever the morula expands and a fluid filled cavity is formed inside this morula, it converts into the blastocyst stage or the day 5 stage. This is the last stage where the embryo develops. After this blastocyst stage is formed, after that this embryo implants into the uterus. So 80 hours after fertilization, this embryo in a normal cycle or a natural cycle, it comes inside the uterus and after 3 days it implants in your uterus or the endometrium. So, what is important is we need good quality blastocyst stage embryos to transfer so as to get the best success rate. This is actually favoring your natural selection or your uh, best selection of embryos and uh, the advantage of blastocyst transfer is that many day 2 or day 3 uh, embryos, they not always they develop into a blastocyst stage. So, whenever we are uh, transferring day 5 stage embryos or blastocyst stage, we are sure that the embryo is strong enough to get implanted into the uterine cavity. So, day 5 transfers are best transfers as compared to the day 3 transfers. Also, this uh, we perform laser assisted hatching. So, whenever this blastocyst is formed, it con contains, uh, roughly considered it contains two parts, which is, which is the outer cell layer called as the trophectoderm and the inner cell mass called as, uh, which develops into the baby. So, this outer cell stage or outer layer, it uh, goes and develops further into the placenta and the inner cell mass, it goes and forms the baby. So, what we need is that the embryo to hatch perfectly so that it uh, implants into the uterine cavity. With the help of laser, we hatch this zonoperistal layer in the lab one to one and a half hours prior to the transfer. After the hatching is done, then these embryos are transferred into the uterine cavity by the process of embryo transfer. So this is how the laser assisted hatching is carried out. Now in whom do we carry out this hatching process? So uh, age more than 35 years, repeated IVF cycles or repeated failure cycles, recurrent pregnancy loss or uh, thickened zona is in such cases thickened zona is seen. In such cases laser assisted hatching definitely helps for better embryo implantation. So these are the processes that we carry out for uh, better success of an IVF cycle and hope this information helps you for your IVF process. Thank you.